Yeah, there are few things in this world that make me a giggling child that take me to a simple time when things weren't quite as wild. One of those very special things that does it every time is a donut and a glass of milk and makes me feel so fine. Everybody loves donuts. Lord knows I do. Everybody loves donuts. So let's see just one or two. Everybody Hello, loves donuts. Hello, welcome to the Shop Podcast Episode 2. I'm Ryan. I'm Will. I'm Markety Mark Mark. And special guest for the second day in a row, Frankie. Hey! So, we're going to go ahead and nominate topics now and get things rolling. My topic today is Facebook. Oh, God. Alright. Stand of the world. I'm going to nominate shitty food. Just plain shitty food. Anything. Oh, God. Marcus? I nominate those weird smells that are unidenti- unidentifiable. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with weird food. I'm gonna go with Facebook. I say weird food. Yeah, weird food. Okay. All right, weird. Weird food. Shitty food, in particular. All right, so fast food or just in, in general? In general, any kind of food uh, that any, you want. Anything. So when anything I anything not cooked by a Mexican mother. <laughs> <laughs> Did you come to my house? <laughs> that's it. That's it's wrapped. It's I not cooked by. We were about by to be bombed by an airplane of Chipotle. No, it's just a low flying Cessna. Never okay. mind. Never mind. Man. Cessna. I don't know what it is. Cessna. And that's not a Cessna, that's a jet engine. Yeah. Oh. Alright, so anyways, back to food. Shitty food. Oh yeah, um, before the actual topic. airplanes. Oh, it, that, that food is pretty shitty, I'm not gonna lie. It is. Uh, it's all like processed and... Well, I've only been on an airplane once, and I was to go to Japan, and I barely even ate because I was throwing up every 10 seconds, so... I don't even really remember the food. Food on the train oh, is actually, it's food not food that bad. Right. It's kind of shitty. I know, right? So, like, train food is, hey, hey, is alright. Hey. They have donuts on the train. Yeah. Like, it just depends, like, like when I was on a train, going coming back to San Francisco, we had eggs, and, like, my eggs were fucking cold, and, like, it sucked. It was a horrible ass breakfast, but everything else was, like, bomb as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so, uh, actually, before we get into it, I made us a Twitter account, SoundCloud account, and YouTube. So, the Twitter is twitter.com slash glazed podcast, glazed like a donut, and the YouTube account, youtube.com slash donut shop podcast. The SoundCloud is soundcloud.com slash donut shop podcast. Um, also, if you have any ideas for topics, you can email us at donut shop podcast. Or positive feedback. Com. Or if you want to offer us free donuts. That's hey, free good. donuts is good, you know? In the Inland Empire. So, shitty food. Not donuts. No, cracking. donuts are like the perfect food. Uh, yeah, okay. Cottage Come cheese. Come what? I've never even had I mean, especially cheese. like donuts, you got like... <laughs> <laughs> Another day. I say, the, I say the absolute shittiest food has to be fast food. If it comes, I, from, I if it has Mick in front of it, I will not touch it. <laughs> I think there's worse food out there, and that's the food that they have here at the school. Yeah, no, I love I school agree. food. Well, no, but it's all processed; <laughs> like none of it's real. Yeah, the bread in it—that's not real. I was not expecting is that veggie bait burger to be good. Okay, but McDonald's that is like close. That was fucking delicious. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. Maybe it's because I've been eating it for years. Maybe it's because they've been feeding it to us for years. But when I eat those chicken sandwiches here at school, not the not the the breaded ones, you know, like the spicy one, but the one that's like looks like actual chicken. Like I don't know. That's fucking delicious. And maybe it's they, because I've eaten it. Because so the long, standard of food is so low. Your body wants it now. Yeah. But to be honest, I can't tell the difference between like amazing food and average food. Because I'll go to Wendy's like once a month, or then I'll go to In and Out. And in and out's probably like the best burger joint in America. And then I'll go to Wendy's, and I really can't. Animal I don't really have fries. a... I don't have a preference. Food is food now. It's like our taste buds are dead. That or you're a teenage male, you know, just shove yeah, it everything in the just, hole. Just okay. shove it well, in Well, I'm, I'm different than the average teenage meal. I, I eat like four hamburgers in like a minute. Okay, so since we're on the topic of shitty food, I actually had something pretty shitty for dinner last night. What was that? It was, um, it was, it was Cuban food. It was, a. Uh, it had lechon asado, and it had bell peppers and onions, and then congri wrapped in like a pita bread. Oh, there's avocado too. What's it's congri? It's um, it's rice uh, mixed with black beans. All right. And uh, this is sound shitty. And uh, I had it, and 
just didn't, it just tasted weird. It just wasn't, it didn't feel right. The garlic fries were good. That was the only good part of that. I was like, garlic mm, fries, are garlic one of the fries were fucking awesome. But garlic fries? Garlic fries are one of the great. Like French had, fries with garlic. Not, it's not like that. They're Say cooked no to a, vampire, yeah, sir. They're, <laughs> it's, uh, they're like, yeah, they're like normal French fries, but, then but they're, they like, just, they're like cooked in like this garlic, like salt and seasoning. And yeah, like, they, they season them with garlic salt. fantastic. Okay. Your breath and your fingers smell for years afterwards, but, <laughs> yeah, but it's there's still it. traces underneath my fingernails, but... Oh, well. So, like, if they find fingerprints at a crime scene, they'll, that'll probably be there. Oh, yeah. If, you have, if, if a criminal has garlic fries at any time in his life, then he's automatically fucked. For at least 20 years. But garlic fries aren't shitty food. Shitty food is fast food french fries. I haven't eaten McDonald's french fries in over eight years because, one, they're cooked in, you know, vegetable oil that's saturated with beef fat to keep that flavor that they had back since the 70s. And if you leave a McDonald's, any food from McDonald's out for over a week, it'll look exactly the same. It'll just be hard because of all those wonderful, amazing preservatives they have in it. Yeah, I remember one time I went to a McDonald's. It was in, uh, the, it was in Colorado. It was the airport uh, in Denver. Like... If I just kind of felt like I had a Big Mac and it felt like they just left it out for like hours and they're like, oh, this yeah, nigga wants and, a Big Mac, here and, you and, go. And they don't, they don't, you don't even ever watch them really cook the fries and the fries that you do see them cooking are for tomorrow. They cook them, put it in that little box and set it aside under a heat lamp and pour salt over it and the sodium come, and to be honest, like not only are they just unhealthy for you, but I just think they're bad. Actually, you know I what I heard a good terrible. trick was? Ask for fries without salt and they have to make a batch for you fresh. That's genius. That's what That's I heard. Fucking, okay, we're talking That's, about too much good food. That That's was a, fucking genius. <laughs> that was fucking God. clever. Like, I, I don't know where, I think it was on Nine Gag that I read that. I know, I actually learned some. Nine like, Gag? Man. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking gagger. It's funny to see how stupid the rest of humanity is. 4 chan right here, man. 4 chan till I die. Alright, alright. Oh yeah, that's memes. That's, that's something else. Um, uh, what, what else is shitty food? Overpriced food. Five Guys is becoming a huge thing out here in California and all five along guys. the West Coast. Yeah, Five Guys. Yeah. You never been they're, to the Five Guys over here? I have to up. take you sometime. It's, it should it's, take me. It's, I've never been there either. <laughs> I heard it was good. It's not <laughs> even that it's bad food at all. It's just like Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A <laughs> is, no. is decent food. No. Chick Fil A is amazing fucking food to me personally. It's my favorite. I think it's decent. It's not like incredible to me. It's not a mouthgasm. But it's still pretty good. But like, me and my mom went there. It was like twenty five bucks between two people. My have a conversation. <laughs> God oh. damn it. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I, you know, when food's decent and food's average, but it's overpriced. At least if you go to McDonald's, you pay like three dollars and you can fucking fill up. It's cheap food, like but at least shit. It's cheap. yeah, it's cheap. But to me, Chick Fil A. I mean, I can understand why it's as expensive as it is. But it's not shitty food. Shitty food, to me, is Carlos Jr. Is the epitome of shitty I've actually had good experience at Carl's. Yeah, I've always had nothing but positive experience. I've only had Carl's. chicken sandwiches at Carl's Jr. The last time I had a burger there, it reminded me of the first time I ate at Burger King, which, okay, by the way, is the, the worst burger chain ever. Yeah, I, I'd agree. Burger King they is just came out shit. with, like, this, not really just, but, like, a year ago, two years ago, came out with this burger called the Big Carl. I've had the Big Carl. I thought it was really good. The right. thing is, and, though, it's, and it's cheap, though. It is, yeah. It's direct competitor to the, you know, the Big Mac and everything, but to me, like I said, uh, Carl's Jr. reminds me too much of Burger King, in which, you know, they charbroil their patties and everything, and it really just looks like they took ground beef and, and wiped their asses with it and put it on a bun. <laughs> That's what those brown streaks are. While we're on like, the topic of burgers, like, and donuts, if you take a piece of meat, like, you know how to, you go to grill burgers? Take a piece of meat, like, you know how you make the ball? Yeah. Poke a hole in it so it looks like a donut, and then go to cook it, and it'll go out flat. Yeah, I know. That, no, not true. that was like, I watched too many shit. cooking shows. Do you know like, how to make shawarma? I do know how to make shawarma. Can you make me some shawarma? I will make you some shawarma. <laughs> shawarma. Never. <laughs> fuck you. What's shawarma? We're talking about bad food here. What's shawarma? Oh, shawarma king. Shawarma king? Shawarma what? king. What's, what's that? So much shawarma is. Hey. Okay. Rocking them shoes, girl. That's right. Okay, will you stop? Just... Who would? Who? Come on. Get oh, your I... eyes off my prize. <laughs> what's shawarma? It's, it's like heaven on a... Carousel ride. Can I get ingredients from him? <laughs> no, let him explain it. Okay. Is it made from pig? I don't even know what it's actually made of. It's, it's just... It pleases me. 
every taste bud in my mouth simultaneously raises its flag for like victory when that shit is like. We're talking about good food. Edition. Should we just switch the topic to good food because we just seem to never break away? We should. We should say. Nobody the, eats the, bad food. We That's should why just we don't talk have about, about, about the best food. food we've had and the shittiest food we've yeah, had. Yeah. yeah there we compare go. and contrast. Yeah, the best compare. meal you've ever eaten in your life, William. Go. Ah, uh, I don't know the name. Okay, best home cooked meal and then best fast food meal. Okay, home cooked meal. Um. My stepmother, she makes like this this ma homemade mac and cheese. It's like is she black? <laughs> She's Polish. <laughs> that can't you don't be get amazing. whiter. No, it, it can't be amazing. It's got like this perfect crust at the top, and it's like, oh yes, I need to pants after that. Okay. Well, okay. Um, fast food. Can it just is it just fast food, or can it be like a restaurant? A restaurant somewhere not at home. Um, you know, a place over on Citrus Plaza. What's that called? Dave's Steakhouse or something like that. Whatever, I, yeah, I guess. They like they they smoke their meat from like the night before uh -huh, to when smokers. it gets <laughs> cock smokers. <laughs> Dave's a cock smoker. <laughs> <laughs> so like they smoke the meat until like until you order the meal. So it's freaking like melting your mouth. Oh my Jesus. Marcus. Like Andrew's Andrew meal. Mern. Home cooked meal. Uh, yeah, fuck that guy. Home cooked <laughs> meal. Best food you've ever eaten at home. Freaking gumbo, white rice, yams. Okay, you're black. Yeah, I can tell you're black. Best, best fast food meal you've ever eaten. Restaurant, whatever. Like, it was a crown made from a rack of lamb. You had... What, what the fuck? A that's rack of lamb. lamb. That's crown rack of lamb. Dude, that's... All right. Crown lamb or whatever you call that's it. That's fucking fat. All right. I was tempted to wear that shit before I <laughs> ate it. And then just like pour barbecue sauce on my head. <laughs> Oh, hell like, I dug into that with, like, a big-ass <laughs> side order of mashed potatoes, and my family was just looking at me go to, go to town on that shit. They're like, I should have got that, too. They, they were all loving me. Best home-cooked meal. All right, best home-cooked meal I've ever had. All right, my grandma, because we're Puerto Rican, um, she makes this pig. It's like a pig carcass. It's called Bermin, and, uh, and it's like, uh, and then she makes arroz con gandules. It's fucking good, too, and, um, yeah, that's, that's probably one of the best, and she's also made a... Okay, uh, explain what the hell that thing is you just okay. said. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm so white. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm all right, white, but all right, I... All right, for, okay, so... Arroz con gandules is uh, rice, and then it has, like, pigeon peas, I guess. And, like, she, like, puts other shit in it, too, and there's, like, sofrito. And sofrito is, like, something Puerto Ricans use to... Like, like we always put sofrito in our food. Yeah, my dad makes sofrito, like, for them. He uses it in everything. Um, and then... Uh, pernil is this pig, and you just like, just like you have to. It takes like a fucking day just to make it, and then like you take a day like cooking it too. And it's, but it's it's good, and she also makes uh, arroz con uh, arroz con pollo. That's good, and then uh, out of out of the house like pinks. Have you guys had pinks? Oh yeah. Fucking good. Oh, yeah. I will always go to fucking Pink's. Oh, yeah. Every even the one at Knott's. Even the one at Knott's. That fucking Pink's okay, is good too. Okay. Is it too late to change my best fast food? You have the floor for 10 seconds before I go. Okay, Hogs. Hogs Burgers. They cook it right there. Oh my Jesus. Here you go. Best home cooked meal I've probably ever had. Yes. Because the best home cooked meal I ever had Sorry. was probably, uh. <laughs> shit. Um, I don't know actually. You had uh, all this time to think. I, uh, <laughs> I wasn't thinking. I was listening to you guys talk. And I was like, "Oh fuck, that sounds good." Um, probably Thanksgiving, Chris, excuse me, Christmas dinner three years ago, where my mom finally let me cook the turkey, and I did it better than her. And it was fucking fantastic because I brined it for like three days. And then the best fast food meal I've ever had is Chick Fil A. I got right after I got my driver's license. I had three chicken sandwiches with cheese and pickles, waffle fries, and a vanilla shake, and it was the greatest fucking. I love uh, those waffle fry things. The waffle fries, because they hold, like, you can, like, pour ketchup all over them, like, they fucking... Oh, and like, you, uh, you eat it, like, in that order that it's, like, laid out uh, on the yes. fry? Waffle fries. And it's like, all right, I have to They're eat beautiful. this in a certain way. Okay, best fast food restaurant in the world. Price to the quality of food you get. Carl's. Carl's Jr. is fucking expensive, though. No, Where's that Big all... Carl thing is, like, too... Shut too the fuck fish. up. It's a quality food, not fucking horse shit on a hot dog. That's what fucking wiener shit is. It's cheap as hell, though. No. I said quality, though. Costco. Ah. The hot dogs from Costco. Am I right? Anything from Costco. Okay. Pretty I think we agree right? that Costco fucking is like the best place there. to buy food and the best place to buy tires. 
Costco is. <sighs> Costco's. This okay. is not an advertisement for Costco, by the way. <laughs> no, no, we have not been immersed. We're just poor people. Who they love didn't the give me 15 slices of pizza. But the C. <laughs> CEO, like I heard, only makes like 200k a year, and Costco, that company, is like worth how many billions? We've got like six billion of my money, of you know, my family's hard earned dollars. It's, Costco is the shit. I know, right? But no, I'd, if, if I'd have to say like best, like the quality of food for the price you pay, Wendy's. Okay. Wendy's is the shit, because Wendy's has never disappointed me. Wendy's is like, because I found an interesting t- statistic, you know, McDonald's is the number one fast food country, you know, corporation in the world, obviously. And for the longest time, Burger King was number two. Wendy's upseated them last year, and Wendy's is now the second most popular chain in the world, which is pretty cool. Yes. All right. So worst food ever. Uh, Just general worst, fast worst food, food ever. Everything. Um, Actually, let's do fast food and then home food. Okay. Worst fast food ever for me, Burger King. I'll never understand why my Whopper was fucking. In, I know it's not supposed to look like it does in the commercial. When I unwrap it and the tomatoes like halfway out the package and there's like sauce like all over the side of the fucking wrapper. And like the fucking, it just and it tasted bad. It was messy. It just tasted like fucking garbage. Burger King, go fuck yourselves. All right, home cooked. Whenever my sister makes food. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even um, need to elaborate. Marcus. For fast food, I'd have to say Taco Factory's weird chicken nacho shit. I don't know what chicken nachos. That's intriguing. I don't know what the chi- I don't think it was actual chicken though. Like. <laughs> Most I, I was chewing that Most shit, and it just wasn't quite right. Something was off about it, so I just put that to the side to avoid, you know, okay, knife home food cook. poisoning. What's the worst home cook? The first time I ever made an omelet. <laughs> that shit was damn nasty, but you better believe that I fucking ate the whole thing just to prove. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's fucking not delicious, bad, y'all. <laughs> I get cooked. I was the <laughs> You guys can leave me at home now. <laughs> I'm okay, guys. <laughs> they come home later, he's throwing up in the <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so for me, do, worst home do. cooked is ironically the same dish that's amazing. It's the, the macaroni and cheese because it has onions in it. What the fuck? I told you she wasn't black and that she was going to suck. <laughs> <laughs> but no, here's the thing. Normally when she makes it, I don't notice them. And I, onions are my Achilles heel. I will murder you if you can freaking give me onions. If you give me onions, you're dead to me. You're dead. You listen? You're dead. But, like, normally it bakes over, so, like. (laughs) Onions are my garlic. Normally, like, this dish, like, bakes over perfectly, and the onions are just so perfectly made. But one time she made it, and they were, like, all crunchy. And I'm just like. Who the fuck puts onions in macaroni and cheese? You'd be amazed. My dad puts bacon in macaroni and cheese. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay, so my fast food, I'm... Oh, fuck. I I don't have a fast food, actually. No, Bravo Burgers. Never heard of it. Glad. Oh, yeah, I've heard of it. Bravo Burgers, it's like this little shitty hole in the wall. Yeah, hole in the wall, exactly. That's a perfect way to describe it. And, like, the burger, there's nothing to it. It's all bread. And it's, like, Look. their pink sauce is, like, all watery. And it's just nasty. Just just took a piss in a bucket. Probably. With some food coloring. <laughs> some Probably. Relish. Probably. There you go. All right. Um, worst okay. fast food. Worst fast food? I don't know. I've never really had, a, I guess you could say, a real bad experience, except that time at McDonald's. Where they gave me like a stale Big Mac. They never uh, listen and, to me when I say no um, pickles. And they don't. Or no onions. Or the time I went to In and Out and there was uh, plastic in my cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, cheese. I think most fast food cheese is just made out of plastic, so and, they probably um, just forgot to melt it all and turn it. And yellow. then the worst home cook is my sister, who is not black, tried making mac and cheese. It was fucking well, horrible. Well, the sad thing is my sister's half Mexican. She figured she might be able to cook, but no. Yeah, she. my sister is <laughs> half Mexican and half Puerto Rican, and she still can't make mac and cheese. So black plus Mexican equals nothing. Equals shit. Do not put a ring on it. <laughs> guys listen to Beyonce, that? Beyonce is black and Mexican, but she can put a ring on that. My sister, stay away from her. I like how whenever a black and Mexican girl walks by, you just check her out. Because they're just fine as fuck, excluding but my sister. But they can't cook. <laughs> The one place a woman is useful. I'm sorry, sorry. Okay, if we're gonna get down with the misogynist views, wait till I bring up my topic of the whole misogynist sort of deal. Okay, alright, alright. Right, right. That's my topic That's for you. That's stereotypes. Yesterday. Stereotypes. <laughs>
Okay, you guys think we're ready to wrap it up here? I, I, I think so. I know, but I, I'm hungry now. I'm, I was going <laughs> to say, know, right? I wish I'd eaten lunch today. Where's your theme? <laughs> oh, perfect. Called it right on time. I know, right? Ready? That's it, motherfuckers. That's it, motherfuckers. Two, three. That's, That's it, motherfuckers. motherfuckers. Yo, boy. You better be glad I'm going to edit this. <laughs> well, I just did like five seconds ago. Sir, 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 keep it in the field. Dude, I'm so doing bloopers with this. <laughs> Got you want to get fancy, I'm right there with you. Let's get some fast knocks and some broken butcher. If you want to keep it simple, I'll take a jelly roll. But don't dare forget about the sprinkles. Oh, everybody loves to.